Oh, yes, hello, Faulty Towers, yes. Who? Uh, yes, I think you'd better have a word with my wife. Um, somebody for Mr. Stubbs, dear. Hello, Sipper Faulty. Well, it is a complete mess. Well, could you come straight round and put it right? Would you like to deal with this, Basil? So you see, we could possibly manage it for at least three weeks. But if you want it done straight away, I suggest you try someone like, uh, oh, what's his name? It's, uh... O'Reilly? Bravo, Polly. Well done, girl. But listen, where are you speaking from? She's in here with me, Basil. <laughs> <laughs> Is that somebody there trying to pretend that they're from Mr. Stubbs' company? What sort of game do you think you're playing? I mean, really? Really? Could you believe what some of these people do, Sybil? I am going to make you regret this for the rest of your life, Basil. Well, fair enough, I suppose, but I think Stubbs is partly... The Basil! <laughs> Don't you dare! Don't you dare give me any more of those pathetic lies! Oh, right. <laughs> what did you pretend for? Did you really think that I would believe that this shambles is the work of professional builders? I mean, people who do it for a living. No, no, not really, no. Why did I trust you, Basil? Why did I let you make the arrangements? I could have seen what was going to happen. Why did I do it? Well, we all make mistakes, dear. <laughs> I'm sick to death of you. You never learn, do you? You never, ever learn! We have used O'Reilly three times in the last year, and each time it has been a fiasco. That wall out there is still not done! You got him in to change a washer in November and we didn't have any running water for two weeks. Well, he's not really a plumber, dear. Well, then why did you hire him? <laughs> because he's cheap. Oh, I wouldn't call him cheap, Sybil. Well, what would you call him, then? Well, cheapish, but I mean... <laughs> and the reason he's cheapish is he's no bloody good. Oh, Sybil, you don't exaggerate. I mean, he's not brilliant. Not brilliant? He belongs in a zoo. Oh, Sybil, you never give anyone the benefit of the doubt. He's shoddy, he doesn't care, he's a liar, he's incompetent, he's lazy, he's nothing but a half we didn't think Irish joke. Ah, oh, hello. Oh, right, how funny, we were just talking about you, and then we got on to another Irish bill that we used to know. Oh, God, he was off! I was talking about you, Mr. O'Reilly. Well, you dear? I thought you were talking... <laughs> come, come, Mrs. Faulty. I'm coming. Oh, dear me, what have I done now? That and that. Not to worry, I'm putting it right. Not to worry? You've heard of the genius of the lamp, Mrs. Faulty. Well, that's me. You think I'm joking, don't you? <laughs> Oh, don't smile. <laughs> Why are you smiling, Mr. O'Reilly? Well, to be perfectly honest, Mrs. Faulty, I like a woman with spirit. Oh, do you? Is that what you like? I do, I do. Oh, good. Now, Sybil, that's enough. <laughs> Come on, then, give us a smile. O'Reilly, <laughs> I have seen more intelligent creatures than you lying on their backs at the bottom of ponds. I've seen better organised creatures than you running round farmyards with their heads cut off. Now, collect your things and...